We're in Microsoft Excel, and this video is for Excel 365 users. We want to be able to perform a lookup, but the problem we've got is that our lookup values have these spaces in them, and also our lookup array has spaces. Now, without a lot of cleaning and trimming, we aren't able to perform a lookup. So if you've done this before, you've probably used the trim function to remove leading spaces, trailing spaces, more than one space between characters within a word. And if you need to remove spaces that aren't spaces from your keyboard, maybe they've been imported from other documents like Word documents, then you have to use the clean function to get rid of those spaces. So you can see there's quite a lot of work here that you need to do to clean up your data before you can do your lookup. So I'll take you through this formula, but then I want to show you this function called clean lookup, which basically does the trimming and cleaning for you. Now clean lookup, you're not gonna find in your version of Excel. I'm gonna show you how to make this function. And we're gonna do that using the new Lambda function in Excel 365. Okay, let's see how this works. So let's do the lookup without the Lambda function, just to see how it would work. We're using XLOOKUP. A lookup value will be the product codes here, comma. A lookup array will be the master price list of product codes. So I select the first one, control shift down arrow key, control backspace to get back to the active cell, comma. Return array will be all the prices. Again, I select the first price, control shift down arrow key, control backspace to get back to the active cell. And if I close the bracket, it spills its results. I get a lot of NAs, despite the fact that these product codes are in this list. The problem is the trailing spaces, the leading spaces, and sometimes we have too many spaces between characters. So the way around that is to use the trim function. Trim will get rid of the spaces you don't need. These spaces are spaces that are added via the keyboard. So we'd have to trim our lookup values and trim our lookup array. So that deals with some of the issues, but then you get spaces that maybe have been imported in from other systems and they're not spaces entered via the keyboard. And that's where you have to use clean as well as trim. And to be sure you'd want to clean the lookup values and your look up array. And then you get all the results that you want. Now, if you're often having to do this, wouldn't it be great if you just had a function that when you did a lookup automatically cleaned and trimmed both your lookup values and your lookup array. So this is where we can create a custom function using the new Lambda function. So the first thing to do would be to copy function as it is. And then over here, I'll create our Lambda function. So the first argument is parameter or calculation. So we have to list the arguments that we want to include in our new Lambda function. So our first argument would be lookup values, the values that we're trying to find in this situation would be our product code. Then it would be lookup array column in the other table that we're cross-referencing with, and then it would be return array. So those are our three parameters. And then the last argument within Lambda would be your calculation. So comma, and I'll paste in our XLOOKUP formula. Let's just move the screen tip out of the way. Maybe scroll over a little bit. Now, what we've got to do in our XLOOKUP function is put in these argument names in place of the ranges that we've currently got. So D2 to D11 is where our lookup values reside. So I need to delete that and type in lookup values. Then this argument here is our lookup array. So I need to delete that range, lookup array. And this will be our return array. Now we can test that this function actually works 
before we make it a proper custom function, I need to close the bracket for the Lambda function first, and then I'd open another bracket and I'd put in the values for each argument. So look up values, uh, these values here, comma, then look up array, would be in column A, and then return array of the values in column B. Close the bracket, press enter, and it gives me all of the results. So I want to make this a custom function called clean lookup. So what I do is I select everything except those inputs at the end there, copy, and then I go to the formless tab on my ribbon. I go to the name manager and I click on new. So I give the function a name, so I call this clean lookup, but you can call it whatever you like. And then I paste my Lambda function into this refers to box. I can put some notes in here if I want. And then I just click on OK. So now if I close this, I can use this function. It appears in the IntelliSense list. If I click on it, there's the description I gave it. Double click. There are the arguments that I've created. So my lookup values are here, comma. Here's my lookup array, comma. Here's my return array. And then I just close the bracket, press enter, and it's returned all the results. Now, if I want to reuse this function in another workbook, what I can do is just create a blank workbook, right click, move or copy, and then move it to a new book or to another book that's already open. And then in this workbook, I've got the clean lookup function. Another thing you can do is copy an area of your sheet that contains the function that you've created into a new book. So although I'm getting a whole load of ref errors here because I didn't copy everything over from that sheet, the clean lookup function has been copied over to this new workbook. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.